What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to a first 30. I haven't done one of these in a while, but we're doing one over Leap. Now, this is a game that I don't normally play, and uh, just listen, hear me out before you click away. This game is a it is a first person type shooter game, but it is a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Um, I'm not a hardcore shooter fan, or like I'm I'm I like shooters, but I'm not like a hardcore gamer where I care about being on the top of anything like that. I like to play, have a good time. I'm a casual first person shooter player, so. I want to give you my impressions of the first 30 minutes of playing Leap. It is a closed beta right now. I don't know when it's coming out, but I'll have a store link down below. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's just hop on into it. So I'm going to go over the armory. I'm going to go over like the characters and like items and things like that. But first, for those people that just want to see the actual gameplay, I'm going to pop into some gameplay. We're going to play a game and then we'll come back and we'll uh, revisit the other things and kind of things that make this game kind of interesting. And honestly, something I could definitely see myself playing. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like on the video. It does help out and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go ahead. Let's just hop on in. Now, like I said, it's closed beta, closed test, so we can't. I don't think we can pick game modes. Um, as you can see, contracts. There is nothing specifically there yet. Um, and I can't remember. I don't know how many people. I think it's a twenty v twenty, or maybe it's more than that. I'm not sure because I haven't had a full lobby yet. Because, like I said, it's uh, forty players. Yeah, so twenty v twenty. And I just, I'm, I gotta say, I'm enjoying it so far. So. First thing off the bat, I like how it looks. I like the futuristic nature of it. Um, so let's see, basically control points, right? We control these three points. These three points move throughout the map. We have tickets and essentially we start off with so many tickets and as we control points, we drain the other team's tickets and then if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead, let's just get in here. Uh, but as you can see, like first off, we got a hoverboard. How cool is that, right? I know. It's like the coolest thing. So what this game allows is the traversal system. I love being able to like traverse quickly from place to place. It is super cool. Uh, we're gonna go over here. We're probably gonna get annihilated, but that's okay because we are trying to win here. So let's see what we got. We got a guy over there. He's already taken out. I uh, don't see anybody else. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down one of my turrets right here to help control this point. Um, but yes, the traversal system is what I got to say is like one of my favorite things about this game. It is just so, uh, it's so neat. You have these grappling hooks that you can basically get to like anywhere. Super easy, nice, quick gameplay. Trying to make sure that we can see anybody here. Oh, our points move. No, we got defeated. We didn't even lose all our points though. Wow. Oh, the timer. Oh, we were so close. Okay, that wasn't a good example of the gameplay. So let me hop into another game and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're in another game here. Let me go ahead, let me deploy. And let me actually just talk about the character as we sit here, uh, just for a little bit so you can get an idea. Third person when we are moving around. So as you can see, we have our like hoverboard. Now these vehicles, you can actually change the type of vehicle that you get, you unlock it through um, progression in the game. Uh, you can hop off your vehicle whenever you want. It does have a cooldown, so there is a, a small cooldown. Uh, the grappling hook does not have a cooldown, which is super nice. You can see that we can jump fairly high. We can double jump, you can grapple. Um, this class right here, we have a shield ability. And again, you can change these abilities out per per the class. So that's just what I have now. And then we also have a uh, an incendiary grenade. That's just a standard grenade. And then we have a primary, secondary. So this is our like shotgun type kind of thing. And then this is a... Um, just a regular rifle so um we do have two shift abilities which is like essentially run so like it's like a dodge attack more than a run and then those like obviously cool down and things like that so let's get over here let's get into some action and let's kind of show you some gameplay now the class that i'm actually really liking right now is there's like a, a technician class or something like that that's the one that had the um the turret that i really liked uh, that one's already got, so let's go over here and get to this one. Let's go ahead and pop off the hoverboard. But I just love being able to get from place to place super quick. It is so neat, and I like the sci-fi atmosphere of it, you know? So we got a little boy over here. Oh! Somebody got me good! All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my class now too, because I like my 
I like my tanky class or my tech ops class because I get an incendiary AR. We have a recon uh, reconstructor beam. Re yes, reconstruct. I want to make sure it didn't say reconstitutor. A um, turret, frag explosive, thunderhawk got a missile on the hoverboard. So let's just hop in here and let's get over here. Let's make this happen. So I would say damage with this. I've got to say the damage feels pretty good. Um, it's quick enough to where if you get on somebody, you're probably going to take them out rather quickly. However, it's not super fast to where you can't, uh, you know, if you're getting hit from somewhere, you could turn around, find cover and things like that. Unless you're like out in the open, then you're just going to be done for. Like this guy. He had no choice. He, he was just done for. And then enemies do drop like shields and health and ammo and stuff. So that is also pretty neat. But uh, let's see. Where did you go? I think he got blown up. <laughs> so I'm going to throw my turret down right here. Let my turret do some work. Oh, that guy got so lucky. And I got taken out. But I mean, even as you see, even after you die and you spawn all the way back over there, you can get to the points super quick by hopping on your little vehicle, dude. Um, and I wish there was like another vehicle here that we could like check out and see. But unfortunately right now there's just not. Oh, guided missiles coming after somebody. Got him. <laughs> all right, we gotta, we gotta pay attention. Oh. Oh, I am so close. I was so close to being dead on that. Oh, I wish I could heal myself with this. All right, so I don't like being on the ground. I feel like the ground in this game is, is not your friend. Just play the floor's lava and you'll probably be okay. Um, I do have a... Wow. Ran out of ammo at the last minute. Oh, we got a lot of people here. Okay, well, I'm going to use my ultimate ability right now. And of course, that guy's already dead. Uh, got him. <laughs> Ooh, that was an orbital strike. Okay, I think our, our place is still here, right? Yes. All right, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna move up, we're gonna push, uh, we're gonna push E and see what happens. Oh, easy, easy. So as you see, uh, it says, oh, it says the enemy is low on tickets. Oh, we must be blue this time. Okay, that's not looking good for me. If I didn't even know that we were blue. I'm always used to like the teams always being the same color, like blue is friendly as you know, and orange is always the other team. And then like it just switches every time you play. So you're like, you're always the same color, but no, we're actually blue this time. So our score is on the uh, right hand side there. They've only got 10 tickets left. Uh, I don't think they're gonna make it. The enemy has acquired a super weapon. Oh no. Oh, I got destroyed there. Um, oh, they've got a, uh, is that ship? Was that ship firing at us? No way. 
Oh my gosh, there's some cool stuff going on here. I like this. And we've got victory. Did I, get, did I finish that guy off? I think I did. Nice. All right, so let's pop into the menu. Let's talk about like the characters and stuff like that and kind of look through what we can change here. So I had uh, 12 eliminations, four deaths. Not terrible, not a terrible ratio. Uh, but yeah, let's pop out to the main menu here. So our armory, this is going to be like the customizations and things like that. So the person I like playing is, is the, the tech ops. Um, I like the incendiary AR. That's kind of one of my things. Um, the reconstructor beam. I haven't really got to play with it a whole lot. Gun turret, frag grenade. We can actually swap this out. So there's a healing grenade, which I kind of like that. That sounds like a pretty cool thing. Um, and then obviously there's our ultimate abilities. So we don't have like all of the ultimate abilities, depending on what ultimate you want, depends on the class you have to pick. But um, automated overseer, that sounds kind of neat, but we have to be level 14 to unlock that. And then the hoverboards, the vehicles. Now, as far as I know, I think these are available to all of them. Um, I was hoping we could like click on them to at least look at them. But we've got an exotube, a wingsuit, that sounds cool, a thunderbird, uh, a boost moose, I think that's actually a um, like a, a robot that runs on the ground, bouncy ball, maverick rocket, and arc sled, that sounds exciting. So uh, these are like options that you have. And then there's also, we have a general. So we have our taunts, um, we have like graffitis, banners, we have some banners in here. Nothing super crazy. Um, but then we also have like, okay, so this guy's ultimate is the airstrike and it looks like a Havana device. I don't know what that is. The Titans ultimate is the devastator devastator mode weapons deal more damage and armors enhanced, but movement is limited. So it's kind of like a juggernaut portable, um, MG station. Is that like a, maybe a manned turret or something? I don't know. Uh, the Wraith is your sniper class. That's going to be your uh, like cloak ability. Or orbital laser. That sounds pretty cool. I don't see any other uh, ability for that. And then I'm going to guess, like I said, I think these are all... Yes. Now, another thing that you may have noticed is if you look at my Wraith level 1, Pathfinder level 1, Titan level 1, these are all level 1, except for my Tech Ops, which is level 3. So you actually level up these guys individually too. Which is cool, but maybe not. Maybe that could be, you know, maybe that that, you, that could give you some reservations on that. I don't know. Um, suit module, grenade belt, super throw, jumbo grenades, accelerated uh, deployment. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then what do we have? Augmentation. So the augmentation we have is regenerating. Passively regenerate your shields while using a personal vehicle. Oh, that's kind of cool. Escape artist, reduce the cooldown of your personal vehicle by 50%. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of options here to have, too. So that's kind of nice. And then we also have skins. Do we actually have any skins? Common skin orange, common skin blue. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, wait, actually, do we have to select that and then further... Let's go with the orange one. We'll go with the orange one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of like a rough look. You know, it, it's cool. It's neat. It's fun. I don't know what this black market is. Oh... Oh, don't tell me. Of course. There's going to be skins. So, of course, we're going to have microtransactions. But, oh. These are actually cool looking, though. What is that? Oh, that thing looks sick. That thing looks amazing. But we don't have credits. Um, and I'm going to guess that they haven't implemented that. Now, I don't know if you get these credits by playing the game. Um, you might. So, I mean, maybe you could get these just by playing the game. That is pretty cool though. Epic vehicle skin. <laughs> that is super cool. I do like this. I like like I, I like cosmetics. If it's a game that you play a lot and it's something that you want to look fancy while you're playing, I get it. But if it's a game that doesn't have any content to it, there should not be cosmetics. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, we're going to hop back into a game. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm going to do a little bit less commentary, a little bit more gameplay and just have a fun, chill time for the rest of this video. And again, if you guys enjoy, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Maybe consider subscribing as well for some more. But let's hop into a game mode. And let's see what we got. Let's do. Let's get some action here. Some hot live action. That's live when I recorded it, and no longer live now. <laughs> All right. So of course we're losing. Fantastic. We're gonna go with our tech ops, and we're going. I guess there.
So we are losing terribly. Uh, we've got to capture some points here. Oh, I was trying to get my turret out real quick just to hope for the best. Yeah, we are getting our butts kicked here. Now, is it because of scoreboard? No. I was always, I'm always curious to see like if we're, you know, losing so bad in the game, if it's because like there's just uneven players on teams, but that doesn't really seem to be the issue here. Oh, wonderful. Fresh new game. Here we go. Where are we going? I gotta say, I really just like the fact that there's like a space battle going on right above head too. Like that is just so cool. Oh, super neat. I just like the whole atmosphere of this game. It's, it's very cool. It almost feels like, um, gosh, there was a game that came out that was kind of similar to this. Um, Anthem. Was it Anthem? I feel like it was kind of like Anthem with the uh, the mobility and the movement, just not as maybe well executed. <laughs> All right, so now we need to go and get a. Oh, we got all kinds of action coming up here. I got draw oh, sneaky sniper, huh? Sneaky sniper. Let's see if we can drop in on somebody here. Wow. Nobody here. There we go. Oh, looks like we're moving again. Oh, poor soul. You poor unfortunate soul. Whoa. There we go. Get some repairs up in here. It's so interesting that the tech ops class is the one with the, um, like the repairs. Oh, geez. Oh, rocket launcher, huh? Very nice. See, I haven't actually, I don't think I've actually even unlocked the rocket launcher or that's in a class that I haven't played with yet. All right, I saw a guy shooting right here. Hello. And I uh, saw me die right there too. <laughs> a little bit of rocket launcher action. Who needs repairs? Who needs heals?
We are not looking too good here. Let's see if I can just sneak in here. Get one of those laid down. There we go. Oh man, I'm not looking good here. I'm getting shot from every angle. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was surrounded. It's okay. If one, if one person can make three people anxious, that means I'm doing my job. All right, these are all about to reset. So let's see. Here we go. Man, I'm surprised that there's so many people with the long distance game right now. We need to go claim another point, otherwise we're gonna lose in a hurry. Oh, jeez. I walked right into something I shouldn't have. Well, there's another one for the L's. Book. <laughs> Got destroyed there too. I mean, hey, I was in the top three of my team. Just not anywhere close of theirs. All right, well, that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Leap. First look again. I'm just a casual player. I'm not great at any of these games. I just like to check them out and maybe show off to, maybe show off to you guys some games that maybe you'd be interested in. Maybe there's some casual players out there like to play some shooter games. Uh, I think it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to when it comes out. I'll probably end up picking it up myself because like I said, I really like the environment. I like the atmosphere and it is, it's a pretty good time. So, um, but yeah, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do like subscribe, all the fun things. I'll see you next time.